Welcome to the second introduction to Inventor video. In this video, we are going to model a coffee mug. The coffee mug is going to reinforce the skills you've learned in the first video, as well as introduce the shell feature and the sweep along a path feature. To begin with, we're going to click on the pencil in the top left corner and then select the top work plane like so. When the work plane turns round to, uh, to face you, we want to draw a circle in the centre to a size of 100 millimetres. We can then use the zoom all feature to see the circle. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then once we're done, we can click on the green tick to finish the sketch. Okay, if I just zoom out slightly and drag it down a little bit. We then want to extrude this up the way by 140 millimeters. So if we select the circle, and in the pop-up window box, we can type in 140, and then OK. Now, we now want to make this hollow. If we ask the pupils how to do this, many of them will be able to say, uh, select the, work, uh, the top surface, draw a circle and extrude it in the way. However, we're going to use a shell feature. With a shell feature, we want to first of all, select the face that needs to be removed. In this case, we'll select the top surface. And because we're going to use ceramics, we're going to choose a slightly larger thickness size of 10 millimeters, and then click OK. At this stage, you can see we've got some sharp corners, so they're not the nicest to drink from. So we can use a fillet tool to round the corners. Because the size we used was 10, I'm going to use half that size, 5 millimeters, and round these both edges here to make a perfect semicircle top. And we can also round the bottom as well. Let's go slightly bigger this time. Let's make it 10 millimeters and select the bottom edge. We can also select the inner edge as well. And there we go. A bit like a glass tumbler just now. Now, to make it into a coffee mug, we need to add the handle on to the side. The tool we're going to use to make the handle is a sweep along a path feature. For that, you need to have a 2D shape and a path, which is a straight line, uh, which is a line for the shape to follow along. The idea is the shape gets dragged along the line that you draw. So to begin with, we're going to select a bit of paper, work plane, that's going through the centre of the cylinder. Then we go select that one and click the pencil to draw on it. We can then bring it down into position. The next thing I want to do is select project geometry to give us a helpful line on the edge. So I'm going to select this edge just here. I can then use the arc tool. It'll jump and snap to the line I've just selected with project geometry and draw an arc in place. Just draw it so it looks right. Again, hit the green tick to finish. Now the second thing for the sweep tool is to draw a 2D shape. And for this we need to add a new work plane, a new bit of paper. I'm going to select a tangent to the edge. We click that line twice. What it does, it positions the paper in that place. And then be able to draw a shape on there. So again, hit the pencil tool, select that work plane. A wee tip at this stage, turn the paper around so you can see it in a better angle. You need to make sure the circle we're going to draw in this case starts at the very end of the line. And just draw a circle that matches the size you like. Okay, once you're done, hit the green tick. Now we've got the two things we need for sweep along a path. We've got our shape and our path, our line. So we can select sweep this time. First thing's the profile, so that's the shape. Second thing's the path, so that's the line. And you'll see there the circle's dragged right along the line to form the handle in place. Just about finished. Only thing we need to do is remove this work plane because it ruins the look of it. So if we right click on the model tree where it says work plane and then go to visibility, it hides it. So let's rotate it around just to have a little look at what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, last of all, we can now think about adding some colors to it, just like the first model. So we select tools. 
appearance and it brings up the model library. Again, you can add different materials to the top line, just like in the first model, and they can then add it to the, the model. So what we're gonna do is select the surfaces we want to color, we'll right click on it and go assign to selection, and we can just add a bit of black to the inside as well. And there we go, our completed mug model. Thank you for watching.